Swedish fish ice pops. Aww. So it looks like the fish is swimming in the water. It looks like the, the fish water. is in the lake. Absolutely. So what we're doing is Turn actually, this way so we can see you the can fish. see the little fish see swimming. The fish? Yeah. And we're gonna make Hello. two kinds. Hello. Adult with alcohol. Oh, boozy yeah. fish in the lake. Boozy fish in the lake. First step, you wanna drop your fish in. One or two per box. And one for you or me. <laughs> and we're gonna put two ounces of alcohol if you so delight, you can do tequila, vodka. We're doing blue curacao, blue curacao to give that water effect. You could do three ounces, four, depends. I was gonna say, dude, wouldn't it just be a lot easier to go like just this? Just pour it. Well, don't fill it. <laughs> yes, these are not shots. We're gonna mix it with some punch. <laughs> So I'm gonna pour Joe, the- Joe, aren't you wasting a whole lot of space? Out. <laughs> I'll let you finish uh, with now there's space for some alcohol. But we do wanna differentiate oh if there gosh. are children, yes. give them a pure different color. So a clean lemonade with no liquor. Yes. Yeah. And then we're gonna wrap the top with foil. And the secret to getting your stick right in the middle and as straight as possible is to poke once and to poke decisively right in the middle. We're gonna make a beautiful centerpiece out of lollipops. So okay, super nope. easy, super edible. You can really do whatever you want. Red, white, and so blue. So is this floral foam? This is floral foam, which you can buy at any dollar store or any hardware store. Or and all a beautiful the craft stores, craft Any stores? craft yep. store, yeah. And so you can get creative here. You can color block red, white, blue, or you can go crazy and just do red, white, and blue anywhere you want. Start from the bottom, start from the top. Who doesn't love a s'more? You think of summer, you think of a s'more. So the problem I find with s'mores is you go to the fire pit and everything is everywhere and you can't get it all together and it's usually dark. So we have these strawberry and somebody baskets. somebody sits on the s'more that fell off <laughs> and then they have like marshmallow, marshmallow booty. Yes. Oh. So to avoid marshmallow booty, you just get your strawberry or blueberry containers from the farmer's market or the grocery store yeah. and you pack it with all the ingredients you need. You Dang. pack it with your graham crackers, toss a couple of your marshmallows in there and then get your favorite chocolate bar. If you really love your guests, you can pre-break it for them. Um, or if you want to portion, proportion everything. One thing that always is guaranteed with s'mores is sticky fingers. So you gotta lick your fingers and instead of the wipe on your white pan, oh, yeah. you have your napkin right in here, built in, ready to go anywhere you want. Another fun idea is a beautiful, easy centerpiece with colored sand. You can buy colored sand at any kid's store, craft store, um, dollar store. And basically, we're gonna just have fun. We're gonna pour it in. You can use this beautiful funnel, or you can get a little crazy. I love red, so we're gonna go heavy on the red. And you you have the best shirts, too. Even it You're out. an excellent shopper. Thank you. Well, I always want to dress up to impress you, Rachel. You always look very festive. Thank you. Pop a little white in there. And I don't know, I'm not a fan of super straight things, so I'm going to have it a little curved on this side. <laughs> Come I'm on gonna... now. It's for the Jove lie. You got to get a little Jove in there. So, um, and then you can decide if you want to pop your candle right in here. We went with an LED because that way in the wind, it won't blow away. If you have oh, children, a good idea. you don't have to worry and about if you have fire. Kids, right. Yep. And the fun part about this is you can be as abstract as you want. There's no wrong way to fill up your candle holder. That with is super red, cool. With white, really cool. with blue. If you're neurotic, this is not for you because it will never, <laughs> ever be perfect. So this is sort of where you can have a lot of fun. You can even mix some colors and just let it live its life. Are you gonna bring that I'm with coming. us? I'm coming, I'm almost there, go, almost go. Almost done, all right. <laughs> As we move on, another fun project you can do in advance is a wreath. And so essentially our final product is a clothespin 4th of July flag wreath. Super fun. You can buy the frame at any craft store, any garden store. You'll buy these in a natural wood color and you can spray paint them in bulk. This is about a hundred of them. So when you're spray painting, you definitely want to put down um, a blue tarp or you want to put down um, newspaper and it's always bigger than you think because spray will spread. So here we go, red, white, and blue. We're gonna do red and white all the way around like the stripes of the flag. Cut out some stars, use double-sided tape and add the stars to the center of the flag. Yes, yeah, so it's super easy. 